I'm going to call our next, next speaker for this evening, Brother B. Kennedy Bay. He's the Grand Sheep of Temple number 18 in Ohio. Could we have another song, please?
Yeah, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> but I only look good because God ordained these things to us. We look good because we want to be obedient to Allah's precepts. We want to be obedient to the laws that Allah has given us. You know, and when I think of all the mishaps that I've had in my life, all the trouble I've had, I can still say praise Allah. Praise Allah. Because I can't be the man that I am today all I didn't ordain something in me. He didn't give me a test that I had to go through. It's right. it's something that says, okay, we got to test Brother Pete's strength here because, you know, we got to toughen him up. Yeah. One day he's going to go to Chicago and talk to some more and know a few things. They ain't going to accept no weakness. So Allah's giving me the strength to be with my brothers and sisters today. Pray, praise Allah. Praise Allah. I praise Allah for. Nah, I ain't gonna cry. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna cry. Because, see, I praise Allah for everything. You know, at times, at times, okay, we all got a Lord's help. I got one. And he tried to, he tried to creep in there. And sometimes, if I ain't careful, I may be acting out. And then I got consequences to pay. You know that? Every chance you get, you better recognize that you're the one, you're in charge, okay? And all I gave you a part of him so that you could exercise some resolution, some strength. He wants us to make sure that we're successful. But on those occasions, Brother Pete can debate, go to the left, to the left. <laughs> I already know that I got a punishment. And so I can't say, oh, man, why did that happen? You know what you did. You know exactly what you did. And Allah knows what you did. He knows what your determination before is made. Why are you playing? Why are you playing? Just obey Allah. Because see, Allah wants us to come home. But he ain't going to accept us dirty. We ain't going home dirty. We going home clean. And we ain't going to have to come back to another Fallen state. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We got work to do. But if we don't do the work correctly, yeah, you got to come back here again. Y'all, y'all, y'all remember this great uh, comedian, uh, Richard Pryor? <laughs> he said he met a guy that had to do triple life. He said, he said, how how do you do triple life? He said that means if you die and come back, you got to go to the penitentiary again. <laughs> You know what you did? You get out of kindergarten, get back in jail. You know, we can't, we can't, I can't stress enough that we have to do the right things. Wow. If we do the right things by our brothers and sisters, yes. by all of Allah's creation, because we want to please Allah. Right. And how do we please Allah? Right. And those who are no king. Oh. The stranger at the gates. You know, it's hard sometimes because of the state of the world that you want to actually do right by some people. But you got to find that strength. You got to find that strength. When I think of uh, some of the things that have crossed my path, you know, that's what keeps me humble. I mean, I just dropped right there. I said, I ain't going to do that. Praise God, I dropped to my knees. I mean, I stay there. Because Allah's going to give me what I need to get back up again. But if I try to act sometimes when that lower self is there, we don't know where it's going to take us. It's not going to be pleasant. Let's go back to the beginning, children. Now, in the Garden of Eden, what did we do? We submitted to the will of our Creator. And all was in bliss. Always in happiness. You can call that your pet. But what happened when we thought we could do better? <laughs> and that happens. You know that happens. You want to upgrade? I ain't happy with this slice of heaven. I don't want another slice of pie. What happens? Well, you can't 
stay in the Garden of Eden no more. You got to go. You upset the apple cart. You upset. You upset the balance of things. You cause what? In harmony. <coughs> and when you cause in harmony, you got to pay for that. So some of us left on our own accord, but also some of us were expelled because it is a sin to go against your Creator. We understand that, right? It's a sin. You know, we also like to change our mind. But once we find out, and I should have done that, I quote a lot of uh, singers and actors at times, and I think of Isaac Hayes for some reason. When he sang that song, uh, By the Time I Get the Fingers. He said he wanted to go into that bag of trick like Tyrone did. He said, oh, mama, 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 can I change my mind? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and, uh, uh, yeah, well, that power was on him, but uh, I said, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all disobeyed me. And this was the first case of disarmament. So he <laughs> smited with his arm. Ain't nothing changed. 
We may dress a little different, talk a little different, but we them same children. They know about the Garden of Eden. Wait, whoa. We actually found it, the Garden of Eden. We found it. So all of a sudden, we're going to go mess up at home. We them same children. We're messing up at home, and every time we do, our Father sends us a Savior, or he sends us a spank. And that first spanking should have been enough. Atlantic Ocean. But here come Irma, uh, Harvey. Uh, they got they got so many. We've been messing up so bad we got we got a whooping for every letter in the alphabet. <laughs> Ain't that something? Every one of those natural disasters has every letter in the alphabet. And I think they're on their third go around. We better straighten up. <laughs> we better straighten up. Because Allah is almighty and comprehensive. I'm not even going to say that you can't understand what he's going to do. It's not beyond your comprehension if you know you're right in this world, but you still got to change it. It's not to the point where we can say, well, I already know, so uh, let it be. No, 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 no. You know better. So you got to do better. That's a quote from our holy and divine prophet. I can also give honors to our two flags combined. The American flag, the flag of our birth. And the Moorish flag, the flag of our peace. That red flag with the five point of green star in the center. Those five points representing love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Five divine principles that every Muslim should and must live by. It is a necessity. And I can't uh, I can't make a judgment on anyone. But I can tell you this, if you're not living by those five divine principles, things are going to be a little bit rocky in your world. Just a little bit rocky. So I want to smooth it up in the rocks. I don't want that kind of bumpy road, you know. I'm, I'm one of those people that, you know, procrastinate. I will buy tires on the car until, like, the rubber falls off going down the street. I'm going to say, uh, I'll just uh, ride on the single road. And I'll, I'll, I'll obey. Prophet to set forth. Prophet Noah Riley when he hit that flag for us. He, he sacrificed a lot for us. I have to uphold what he has brought. He said, and I don't know how many understand this statement. Sometimes it, 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 it mind boggles me too. But I went around my elbow to get to my thumb and he said, that you established in this country, in this government. If Allah, if Allah can ordain someone to give us that much sacrifice, then we have to be obedient. We have to be to the point where I want to make this grow. 10,000 years old. Red flag. Five point green star in the center. And the story goes that Prophet Noah Riley went up to Washington, D.C. to get that flag. And they gave him something else. He said, uh -huh. you know which one I'm talking about? Because see, they had already given Prophet Noah and Raleigh charge of the Asiatics. But see, nowadays, this is a, a hard lesson for a lot of people to learn, but you have got to be the fine print on documents that you sign. Because when they signed the Asiatics over Prophet Noah and Raleigh, they didn't know what they was giving him. They didn't know they gave him three quarters of the world. They didn't know they, in effect, made themselves minorities. See, when we understand our brothers and sisters that what we have a kinship with throughout this world, and we act accordingly, you know the majority rules. I mean, that's just the way it is. That's just, that's just the way it is. And they will have to accept that. They will have to accept that. But first, we got to exercise. We got to exercise the things that we know. Prophet has brought us. Prophet wasn't joking. And the story goes that he snapped to the President of the United States and said, Wait a minute, I think I made a mistake. He said, No, sir. You did exactly as I thought you would. And I guess he went home and said, I got my voice. You see, the divine origin of the Asiatic nations tells us that we got a kinship with uh, three quarters of the world. But I want you to understand another thing. It was just in that, era, in that area, 
you see a lot of destruction over there. A lot of your tsunamis and earthquakes and uh, uh, tidal waves, whatever. It's a lot of destruction. The wrath is there. I say because they were closer to Abba. And they know the truth. And they accept the lie. Even our brothers and sisters all over the world have got to straighten up. See, we're not in this alone. This is what the uniting of Asia. Wow. You unite Asia, you unite every last one of them. You know, if they just do that, you know what, this ain't so bad. This ain't so bad. You probably know what Robbie said, that, 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 that tide is going to turn for us. He said, but when you get on top, treat them nice. Treat them nice. Because do you want somebody to go around and step on your neck and you won't do that to them when you get a chance to be that leader? You're going to show them love. You're going to show them truth. You're going to show them five divine principles. You're going to show them everything it takes to save themselves. I can also give honors to our past Supreme Grand Advisors and moderators, Brother C. Kirk and Bay, Brother Ellen Nelson Bay, and Brother J. Blake. Once again, proper noble brother left the instruction. Imitate I your proper and word act and deed. Past Supreme Grand Advisors and Moderators did exactly that and rose to the ranks of leadership in the more science temple of America. Now what they've done, we're supposed to be able to do also. Out from your Sunday school comes the guidance of the nation. So when our Supreme Grand Advisors and Moderators took the helm as leaders in the Moore Science Temple of America, they laid down a foundation that we're supposed to follow, we're supposed to build on. There should be no separation. And to a point, I'm so happy to know that two of our leaders, I'm still alive to serve with. I'm just former Grand Sheik and moderator of the Lord Science to America for the Iowa Field. If I get to the half, you know the story. This brother is honorable, knowledgeable, respectable. I remember when he used to come to our temple in Toledo, Ohio. The young boys used to line up and want his autograph. He thought he was a rock star. I was in awe. Because you know when you heard this brother speak, just like that, silence. And if you dare to raise an issue, his voice was thunderous in those days. And you know he ended the, he ended the conversation. Peace! <laughs> I think sister might be one of my omelets. We used to have a whole 
whole whole lot of fun. And that's what it's all about. You know, we are family. You know, the the, skirt, the, 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 the cares of the world should only they should only embolden us. They should only strengthen us. That's right. You know, we should see the, the nation that we can become. You know, it starts with each proper no body as he instructed. Imitate out of your prop. So I can also be advised to our present grand chief and moderator of the Board of Science to Book America, R. Jones Bay. I love the R. Jones Bay for the tireless work that he does to protect us from all outside interferences. It's not an easy job, but sometimes the enemy can come within. We have to understand that Brother R. Jones Bay is working hard for us. Praise the Lord. Never, ever against us. Always encouraging us. That's right. Honors to our leaders. Yes, Lord. And I also like to give honors to all of you. Y'all beautiful. And I am still nervous. <laughs> you know, uh, I see my brothers and sisters, and I just, I, I don't want to say nothing wrong. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? They love you, don't they? Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> I'm going to work on that. Yeah. Work on that. Yeah. But you know what? Um, it's, a, it's an honor and a pleasure to always be in, in the, uh, the convention. This is probably the second time I got a chance to see Brother Morris. Y'all always just show right now, you know what I want to do? I want to read from the Holy Quran of Lord Sacks to the America. Divine uh, repaired by the Holy Prophet of Ali. By the guy of his Father God, Allah. <laughs> There's Allah again. You know he's everywhere. You know he's everywhere. I gave all the honors to man, but that's the it can't happen without our We can talk a great deal about man because man is down here with us. He's in the trenches, he's doing these things, but he's got the strength of Allah within him. He's made an image and after the likeness of his great father. Do we know what we're capable of? Do we really know what we can do? Because Jesus told us, what I've done, all men shall do. What I've become, all men shall become. Huh. Y'all didn't know about Brother C. Gurney Fair, did y'all? Okay. See what she did? It's not. It's not. Okay, I'm, I'm going to read from the Holy Koran. Um, just a small section. Um, page 58. These are the capital empires. There's a ten bit of truth here. I don't want everybody to recognize this. Let's go to page 58 on page on instruction nine. And it states, according to all true and divine records of the human race, there is no Negro, no black, or colored race attached to the human family. Because all the inhabitants of Africa were and are of the human race, descendants of the ancient Canaanite nation. We know where we come from, we know who we are, we know how to act, and we know how to be. Carry on. Peace.
instructions, Egypt, the capital empire, the dominion of Africa. Now he knows why this is all his second time. <laughs> <laughs> Prophet Noble Drew Ali, Brother D. Lewis Hill, please pardon me, but I just wanted to write you this letter, since I started to follow your lessons, my life's got better, and no, I never met you on this carnal flesh.